Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Double back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to correctly render DXTory and Fraps files. Uh, now, DXTory right over here and Fraps are the two most uh, popular uh, programs to record video games on the computer with. Uh, the only problem that these two programs have is that the uh, the files that they make are massive. Uh, so for example, I, I have some three minute footage from, I believe it's from Fraps. So if you go in my files right over here, this is the three minute footage right here. This is from Fraps. It's eight gigabytes big. That's way too freaking big. All right, this is uh, some more gameplay. This is 13 gigabytes. Some more, 52 gigabytes. This right, this is converted. And all these are converted. I have to convert all the videos that I take that I take from this, so the uh, so my hard drive has enough room. Oh, oops, sorry. So my hard drive has enough room in it. Uh, it's it's a really freaking annoying problem, but you know it it just, it just happens. The other problem is that you don't want to upload the file raw, meaning you you don't just want to upload the file that you just recorded straight off of Fraps because the file is freaking massive, and usually people do not have fast upload speeds. Uh, usually the ups, upload speeds are a lot less than the download speeds because no one really uses uh, upload speeds unless they're like a YouTuber. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do effect, effectively decrease the file size keep, while keeping most of the quality. Uh, so let's get started. Right over here, there's our three minute footage. Let's just say I recorded this. Um, once it's in here and you've done all your editing, uh, right click on the video track and go to properties. Uh, now make sure you unclick maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. Uh, this just makes it look better. Okay, the second thing is make sure you go to your uh, project video properties and if you don't if you don't have the setup that I have uh, basically what it does is as soon as I drag a file in here it changes the settings to exactly to uh, for that file if you if you have separate settings here don't worry just click over here and go to the file that you just put in here and click on and click open uh, what that will do is that it would it's gonna give all the attributes properties into the video file that it has in here and basically what that means it's gonna mean a faster render time and you're gonna keep most of your quality uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to do. Now to the most important part, and that is our render. So go to File, Render As. Uh, there you go, it's open up. Now, YouTube accepts a lot of formats. The problem is you want to you wanna format that keeps quality but tries to minimize the size a little bit. Now, those are the two most important things. I like to use main concept AVC, AAC, .mp4, .avc. This is my favorite one. And it has a bunch of these uh, setups right here. I have a special one for Battlefield 4. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to go to Internet 1080p or 720p depending on what you recorded in. Uh, so this is 1080p footage, so I'm going to go 1080p right here. I'm going to go to Customize Template. Now that I'm here, uh, you're going to see a bunch of these settings. Okay, so What you want to do, you want to keep this like this. And you want to keep the main profile like this. Uh, your um, your field order. You're gonna have to remember what it was over here. Uh, it was something. It would. Uh, hold on, I'll show you guys. If you go over here, this is your field order right here. This is important. You want to keep this exactly the same. So this is upper field. Uh, so we're gonna go with upper field too in the render. Uh, render right here. Go back. Okay, we're gonna. We were an internet 1080p. There. Customize. Okay, so we're gonna change our field order to upper. Pixel ratio 1.0, that's fine. A number of, uh, this is fine. This is really important. I've seen a lot of people mess up, and I've messed up my renders because of this stupid thing right here. This gives a very, very uh, variable bit rate. The bit rate is basically the, it's in simple terms, it makes your video look nice or bad. It makes your video look either pixelated or really fine and crisp. So we want to go to constant bit rate because you want your render to be very constant. Okay, this is where the file size either gets huge or gets really small. Uh, usually the good setup is around th these three right here. These three are really good. Uh, 20, 20 million, 14 million, and 10 million. Now, depending on how fast your internet speed is, uh, I would, I would say go towards the 14 million. 14 million is good. Uh, it is a little bit worse than your original pure copy, but that's going to happen because you're rendering. Uh, you can go all the way and go to 28. Um, uh, I don't really recommend this because the file size is huge. Uh, but you can do this if you want if you have a fast enough upload rate uh, So yeah, once you've done that you're pretty much done. You can just render it off. It's pretty simple This is my BF4 setup right here. See my bit rate is 20,000 uh, Yeah, this might have been a little bit confusing, but uh, if you make YouTube videos, you're gonna understand uh, so That's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed my video, make sure you subscribe. Uh, that's pretty much all and goodbye